My name is Eric Finnskoning. I am a postdoc at ETH Zurich and also a special advisor at the Norwegian Central Bank. I'm very happy to receive the FNR Award for Outstanding PhD Thesis for designing an operational systemic stress test for financial institutions. Stress tests were introduced as part of the regulatory reform after the 2007 to 2009 financial crisis. These tests assess whether banks have sufficient capital to survive a longer period of economic downturn and large financial losses. However, they are static, so they do not take into account distressed reactions or feedback amplifications by financial institutions such as fire sales, for instance. But such reactions are at the core of the snowball effect that can amplify financial shocks so the stress test may underestimate the effect of contagion in a crisis. During my PhD at Imperial College London, I developed a mathematical model that can quantify these fire sales effects and simulate their impact. So for a given scenario, for instance the failure of a medium-sized bank, we can ask the question, is the shock severe enough to trigger a cascade of failing financial institutions? And if so, how could it play out? The model takes a snapshot of the current bank balance sheets and then applies a stress scenario. If one or several of the institutions are hit sufficiently hard, they may have to readjust their bank balance sheets, for instance in the worst case by a distressed sale of assets. The model then computes the impact of these fire sales on other banks. If these banks in turn need to rebalance their portfolios, a new round of liquidation follows and contagion spreads through the network. The model can be calibrated to real-world data, but is at the same time very modular. You can ask many what-if questions regarding assumptions and parameters. That makes it attractive for implementation in existing stress tests. I did this work in collaboration with Norges Bank, the Central Bank of Norway. They provided real data as well as helpful feedback to make the model more relevant for policymakers. Last year it was adapted and used in the Bank of England's stress test and we are currently looking to implement it at Norges Bank as well. This is the first time that a fire sales model is used in a central bank's official stress test. There remains a lot to be done, but it means we are one step closer to modeling crisis dynamics in a more realistic manner. Ultimately, this will contribute to increased global financial stability.